Welcome back to Anton Math. And in the last video, we just started going over uh, the basic properties of a set, to find what a set is. And in this video, in the next couple of videos, we're going to define and learn about some of the very um, standard basic sets that we very commonly use uh, in discrete mathematics and, and in mathematics in general. Now, this video, I'm going to focus um, primarily on the integers and the natural numbers. Uh, so first, I'm going to talk about the integers. Integers. And integers, a lot of you may, you know, it's kind of commonly known as whole numbers, right? So nothing that has any, you know, decimal beyond the decimal point, uh, nothing like that. We're just talking about whole numbers and positive or negative. When we say integer, we mean, you know, positive or negative numbers. Now, how this is usually denoted is by this capital Z or what I like to use and what you'll commonly see is this kind of double barred Z, right? If you ever see a double barred Z, you know for sure that means the integers and a capital Z does too. We don't really use that for many other things. Now we're going to be using our set notation from the last video and I want to have a way to denote these integers. Now we haven't really learned a lot yet um, about these standard sets, so it, it's hard to put a restriction on it that's not going to use English. Right now, I could put x such that x is an integer, but that's kind of, you know, <laughs> self defining, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and try to list them all, and we'll see how well we can do. I know that 0 is an integer, and to the left of 0, I have negative 1, you know, negative 2, negative 3. I have all these negative integers going off to the left, and to the right I have 1, 2, 3, and all my positive integers going off to the right. Now, the way that I'm going to kind of indicate a continuation of this is these three dots in either direction. Three dots. You know, my emphasis on three. Now, these three dots are what we call an ellipsis. Right. This literally means to continue on in the same fashion, right? And it kind of, you know, generally means we're going to infinitely continue in the same fashion that we're containing, so that we can define what we mean, right? I'm going to continue increasing by one to get each new integer in the positive direction, and I'm going to decrease by one to get each new integer in the negative direction. Now, it's, it's very important for me to just say you need to use three dots. This is actually a proper notation, three dots and ellipsis. If you use four dots or two dots, you know, people will probably know what you mean, but, you know, to keep to keep things proper, this is an actual notation, just like an equal sign. You wouldn't put one line for an equal sign because that means something else, doesn't it? So make sure to use those three dots. But this is what this is, you know, kind of a set notation way that I can use to define what I mean by the set of all integers. And from here on out, whenever we talk about um, an integer or, or you know some kind of arbitrary integer, I can just use this big capital Z. So we're establishing some notation here that's going to help us to save some time in the future. Now remember in the last video I wrote you know something like x is an integer, x integral. Now I can just use you know something like you know x is in z. So for example, two is in z, or you know negative seventeen is in z. These are all elements of the set of integers, right? This big Z means the set of all integers. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is um, we sometimes uh, talk about the non-negative integers, right? And there's a couple different ways uh, that we can use to denote that. I can use, you know, this z with a zero, um, or sometimes we'll use this z and we'll put a little greater than or equal to zero, right? Um, or uh, I can use this kind of double barred n, and I haven't defined what n is yet, I'll do that next. And I'm going to use this symbol, this means union 0, and I'll come back to this after I define n here in a second. But what all of these mean are, now I'm going to use, um, this is going to be 0, I'll do it both ways, I'll list it first, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then my ellipsis, dot, 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 or using our you know membership law notation, this is going to be all x such that x is an integer and x is greater than or equal to zero. Now look at this. I only just defined integer. And I know mine's a little messy, but you know, we can tell what that is, right? It's double barred zero. But look how handy that is already. Now, you know exactly what I mean by here. I don't need to use any dots. There's no guesswork going on. Um, I know exactly that I mean x 
any element x that's in this set is an integer that's 0 or bigger than 0. And that's it. Very easy, very concise, very pretty. right? Um, and we also have this other notation with a star. If we have a star here, z star, uh, what this will usually mean, and I could write this as z, this means subtract. In, I mean subtract from the set or z, I can just use a subtraction sign. But what this all means is, and these are all three different ways to write the same thing, this just means the set of all integers, right? So this first part I've written, well, all this in math notation, this means the set of all integers, and I need an extra restriction, this is where x is not equal to zero. So sometimes, you know, we're going to want to talk about all of the positive and negative integers without including zero, and that's what this z star notation is going to mean. All right, now I'll, I'll come back to some of these other notations real quick, but the last thing I'm going to define here is the natural numbers. Now the natural numbers kind of get their um, name, you know, from being numbers that are generally found in nature. You know, it's any number of apples that you can pick off of a tree, right? And what I'm talking about is, you know, it's the positive whole numbers. Now, sometimes uh, we'll refer to the natural numbers as z plus, with this little plus sign, and that just means positive integers. But most commonly when we say natural numbers, we'll use this double barred n that I used before, right? And this means the natural numbers, or just a capital N. Um, all of these double bars I use, uh, you'll see it very commonly just used as capital letters of the same letters I'm using. And this is just going to be all the numbers that are positive integers, right? So we list it out with my ellipsis, or we use our membership laws. These are going to be all of the integers x, such that x is distinctly greater than 0, right? Not greater than or equal to, like up here with these uh, non-negative integers, but specifically the integers that are positive, the integers that are greater than 0. So now let's make some sense about what I've done up here. And, and once we get into the set theory section, uh, I'm going to go into this terminology uh, a lot a lot more in depth. What this big U here means, uh, I made this little arrow to here, this means union. So this is our way of gluing two sets together, right? So this whole thing here is actually one set, right? This isn't two different sets. This is my way of writing one set. And what I'm saying is the set of all elements that are in here and in here at the same time. So we can see this is 0 plus my positive integers, right? So you can think of it kind of as gluing these two sets together into one big set. Now, this symbol here, this downward slash, or this minus sign, is, is the opposite. This means I'm taking things out. So what this means is all integers except the integer 0, or all integers where I've taken out the integer 0, or you know, this set with one element 0, I'm taking that set away from my set of integers. So again, this is still just one set. And I'm not going to go much more into the depth of that right now. Uh, we're going to go into this notation a lot more in depth when we get into the set theory, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of slowly introduce it, uh, let you see it a couple of times. I hope it stick a little bit. So that's it. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to introduce these. These are my integers and my natural numbers. Now, we're going to take the next step in the next video um, and talk about the rationals. Uh, but I guess, you know, I, I want to note one more thing. Uh, let's use some of the notation that we used before. Notice that I have my natural numbers. I can use this kind of subset notation, right? All of the natural numbers are included in my uh, non-negative numbers, aren't they? So I have natural numbers are all included in my non-negative numbers, and my non-negative numbers are all included in my integers, right? So we've started forming this chain, and this chain is going to keep growing in the next couple of videos. We're going to talk about all sorts of different sets of numbers. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about the rationals. So we will see you there.